While COVID-19 may have put much of the world on pause, the construction industry is still booming. Construction was one of the first few industries considered to be an essential service, so the largest construction projects in the world are still underway. Here are the top 15 biggest construction projects. Number 15. The Jeddah Tower While the Burj Khalifa may be the world's tallest building, the Jeddah Tower may soon push ahead of it. That's because it's slated to be the world's first one kilometer tall building, and it would therefore make it more than 170 meters taller than the Burj Khalifa. Located in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, ground was first broken for the project in April of 2013. However, in January of 2018, building owner JEC halted structural concrete work with the tower, about one-third completed due to labor issues with the contractor. While construction was supposed to resume in 2020, these plans were put on hold thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, and as such, it may be a while until they resume. Regardless, we're sure they will at some point, and when they do, the end result will be incredible. Number 14. Ryugyong Hotel North Korea is a country with a lot of sizzle but little steak, and the Ryugyong Hotel is the perfect example of this in action. That's because while construction of it began all the way back in 1987, the hotel has been a work in progress ever since. Located in North Korea's capital of Pyongyang, it's a testament to the disconnect between grandeur thoughts and limited funds, as the estimated $2 billion it would take to complete the hotel is so prohibitively expensive for the regime that it would account for 5% of North Korea's overall GDP if they were to complete the project. Therefore, we expect a Ryugyong Hotel to remain under construction for the foreseeable future. Number 13. Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium While China may not be known for its soccer culture, the Chinese government has been pushing to make the sport more mainstream in the country. And as part of the program, it's begun constructing the Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium. Created on behalf of one of the country's most successful soccer teams, it's slated to be the largest soccer-only stadium in the world, as it will come in at 100,000 seats. Beyond this capacity, what sets this mega-stadium apart is that it will have a massive lotus flower-shaped roof and be very beautiful aesthetically, which will likely help justify its enormous $1.7 billion price tag. While Europe may be known for having the world's best soccer stadiums, soon China may be in the picture. Number 12. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor China is easily one of the world's fastest-growing powers, and as part of their plans to be a global economic leader, they have spearheaded a program known as the Belt and Road Initiative. This is essentially a massive $1.3 trillion infrastructure project that's meant to link multiple areas in Asia, Africa, and Europe to its economic apparatus. And one of these projects, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, is one of the most expensive. Slated to come to about $62 billion, it includes several different mini-projects, with these including the construction of a brand new port, a brand new city, several roadways, and several railways. And while this project may not be completed for a few decades, it's still something to keep an eye on. Number 11. The Grand Paris Express Paris is a massive city, and so it makes sense that the city is expanding its subway system via the Grand Paris Express. The project currently consists of the addition of four new lines and the extensions of two existing ones, with a total of 200 kilometers of track and 68 stations currently being on the books. The idea is that these will serve a projected 2 million passengers per day and will all likely be done by the year 2030. However, at an estimated cost of as much as $45 billion, it certainly won't be a cheap extension. Number 10. The Al Maktoum International Airport Dubai is known to be a city on the rise, and Al Maktoum International Airport is certainly on par with Dubai's high-flying aspirations. This is because while this airport has been relatively small since its 2010 opening, there has been concerted efforts to expand it in order to take some of the pressure off the city's main airport, Dubai International. Now, the very first stages of the expansion have already been completed and have allowed the airport to have a capacity to handle 26.5 million passengers per year. However, a new two-phase expansion project is now in the works to make the airport even larger. 
Now, the first phase is set to increase the airport's capacity by 90 million passengers per year, with this being facilitated by the addition of a new 165,000 square meter terminal, two 385,000 square meter satellite concourses, two four and a half kilometer runways, and six train lines. Then, Phase 2 will essentially make a second copy of the additions in Phase 1, with this addition instead adding 65 million more passengers per year to the airport's capacity. As a result, if these plans are realized by their 2027 deadline, Al Maktoum International Airport will soon become the largest airport in the world. However, when you consider that there have been significant delays thus far, this may not end up being the case. Number 9. The South North Water Transport Project Water supply is a main problem in many parts of the world, yet in China they are tackling this issue by moving water to the people, rather than people to the water. That's because they're currently constructing the South North Water Transfer Project, which is essentially a plan to divert 44.8 billion cubic meters of water from the Yangtze River in southern China to the Yellow River Basin in northern China with this amount being so colossal that it equates to about half of the water consumed by California every year. China is currently doing this through the construction of canals to reroute the water. However, the task is so gargantuan that it will likely take about 50 years and cost more than $30 billion. As you might expect, it's also attracted some controversy, as the rerouting of water will necessitate hundreds of thousands of people to leave their homes and will likely cause some pretty severe environmental and ecological damage, since this rerouting would fundamentally change China's largest water source. Regardless, only time will tell whether or not this plan will be successful. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The London Crossrail London is an absolutely massive city, and while its subway system is already pretty extensive, a new line is being created to connect the western station of Reading to the eastern stations of Abbey Wood and Shenfield. Known as both the London Crossrail and the Elizabeth Line, it primarily uses existing stations as part of the project, although it also incorporates a series of nine new stations and one old one that's being fully rebuilt. In order to ferry people between these stations, a total of 65 new trains are being built, and each one will be over 200 meters long and will have their capacity to hold up to 1,500 people. As of now, most of the western half of the crossrail is currently open. Yet due to project delays and the effects of COVID-19, its completion date of December of 2019 has been pushed back to the first half of 2022. However, once completed, we're sure it will be a very impressive train line. Number 7. The California Bullet Train A bullet train is a pride project for any strong economy, as these are not only able to transport passengers quickly, but are a sign of economic prowess. However, in California, the process of creating one has been an absolute disaster. First approved by a narrow 53% vote in a 2008 statewide referendum, the project allocated $9.9 .9 billion to the California High Speed Rail Authority in order to build a bullet train line from San Francisco to the Los Angeles area. However, repeated delays, ballooning costs, years of mismanagement, and several legal and political battles have meant that, to date, no segments of the project have been completed as they're constantly been under construction. However, this lagging infrastructure project may get a boost from President Biden's $2 trillion infrastructure plan, with a total of $4.1 billion currently being requested by the California Bullet Train Authority. However, only time will tell whether or not the state will receive the funding it so desperately needs to get the bullet train plan back on its feet. Number 6. The E-39 Norway is a country where road building is particularly challenging. After all, it's a country of fjords that often have gaps that are hundreds if not thousands of meters long, and its generally mountainous landscape is not exactly conducive to paving asphalt. As a result, in order to get across the western coast of the country, which is where most people live, there currently sits an 1,100-kilometer-long highway known as the E39 featuring a grand total of seven ferry crossings and taking about 21 hours to cross in its entirety. It's a pretty long and convoluted route, and as a result, the Norwegian government is looking to spend $47 billion in order to update it. Now, the main goal of this new and improved E39 is to completely eliminate the need for ferries across the seven current ferry crossings. 
As a result, the Norwegian Public Roads Administration is looking into innovative ways to solve this problem, and some are set to be world record breaking. For example, between the cities of Stavanger and Hogesund, Norway is currently building a 27 kilometer long and 390 meter deep undersea tunnel known as Rogfast, with it being said to be the longest and deepest undersea tunnel in the world. Yet with construction starting in 2018 and planned to be finished by 2026, it certainly is quite the project. However, if we then go further up the coast to Bergen, there sits the Bjornafjord, which stands 5 kilometers wide and is 600 meters deep. In order to cross this monstrosity, there is currently a floating suspension bridge in the works, with the plan for being long cables to tie it to either side of the fjord. Yet with the construction not yet started, only time will tell when this project will be completed. Regardless, with a further five fjord crossing projects still in their early planning stages and a lot of resources being necessary in order to plan and create them, we don't expect the new and improved E39 to be finished anytime soon. Number 5. The General Philippe Angeles International Airport While it's not uncommon for construction projects to have a few road bumps, the construction of Mexico City's General Philippe Angeles International Airport has been especially messy. You see, a completely different airport known as the New International Airport of Mexico City was originally supposed to be built instead of it. However, it soon got cancelled due to it being built in a very unsuitable location and being mired in corruption, as billions of government dollars were misappropriated while giving out the contracts to builders. This caused current Mexican President Andre Manuel López Obrador to cancel it and begin construction of a new airport, known as the General Felipe Angeles International Airport, at the existing Santa Lucia Air Base in 2019. And while this new airport is also mired in a controversy and is set to cost about $3.5 billion, it will hopefully be able to accommodate about 20.5 million passengers per year, with it being slated to be completed in 2022. However, only time will tell if this whole process really goes as smoothly as has been advertised. Yet, as you might expect, the airport has been engaging in some pretty questionable practices during its construction. Most notably, despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the Mexican government considered the airport to be a top priority, and as such created about 39,000 new jobs by making laborers work on site all day, every day, by a series of three eight-hour shifts. This led to four confirmed cases, 37 suspected cases, and four deaths among the workers at the site. To make matters worse for the builders, the excavation of the site has been constantly slowed down due to the fact that more than 200 woolly mammoth skeletons have been found on the site, meaning that construction has had to periodically stop in order for excavations to be completed. However, the good news is that despite the delays, the project is now once again in full motion, with the airport expected to be completed by March 21st of 2022. Regardless, it goes without saying that this project has been a real headache for airport planners from day one. Number 4. The Great Man-Made River While Libya may not be known as an industrial powerhouse, it turns out that it's at the head of a massive infrastructure project. That's because in order to meet the country's demand for fresh water, the government has created the Great Man-Made River. First initiated in 1983, the aim of this project is to supply fresh water obtained from the Nubian sandstone aquifer system to cities across Libya. The project is split into five phases, with three of them having been already completed, while the last two are scheduled to be finished sometime before 2030. It should be noted here that the name of the project is a little bit confusing, as it's not actually a bona fide river. Instead, it's a series of underground pipes that consists of more than 2,800 kilometers of tubing, has more than 1,300 wells, and supplies about 6.5 million cubic meters of fresh water per day. This means that the Great Man-Made River is the largest underground network of pipes and aqueducts in the world, and when it's completely finished, it will be far ahead of all of its competitors. However, it should be noted that these plans have not gone without a fair share of hitches. After all, from 2011 to 2020, Libya went through two civil wars that caused much of the pipeline to become damaged, with this culminating on April 10th of 2020, when a station controlling water flow to Tripoli and neighboring towns was seized by an unknown armed group causing 2 million people to be left without water. Thus, while this project has had a lot of potential, we suspect its completion date of 2030 may need to be pushed back. Number 3. The Chuo Shinkansen Japan is known for its high-speed train lines, yet by the late 2020s, the country will have a train like no other. 
known as the Chuo Shinkansen. It will connect Tokyo to Nagoya by 2027 and Nagoya to Osaka by 2037, and it stands apart due to it being a maglev line. While the specifics of what a maglev line are quite complicated, put simply it's a train system that uses two sets of magnets, with one set repelling and pushing the train up off the track, while the other moves the elevated train ahead, thus taking advantage of the lack of friction so that the train can move at incredibly fast speeds while still being incredibly quiet and smooth. And while examples of these types of trains exist across the world, the one in Japan stands apart due to the plan for it being able to travel at up to 500 kilometers per hour, which would make it one of the fastest passenger trains in the world. Now, to be clear, maglev lines already exist in Japan, but what makes this final line special is that it's the culmination of the country's maglev train system, and it's estimated that it will be able to make the trip between Tokyo and Nagoya in less than an hour if going at full speed. About 86% of the Tokyo-Nagoya line will be underground, requiring extensive tunnel construction. This has caused some problems in certain parts of the line, with the Shizuoka Prefecture's Oi River being seen as a major roadblock as it may leak into the train's tunnel and lower the river's water levels. However, while the Central Japan Railway Company has expressed concern that this may make the 2027 completion date near impossible, we're confident that they'll be able to find a way to get around it. Number 2. The New Space Station Ever since the International Space Station made its way into orbit on November 20th of 1998, it's been a symbol of international cooperation. Yet what many people do not know is that it was never meant to remain in space forever. In fact, the plan is that it will likely deorbit sometime in the year 2028. And thus in preparation for this, several companies have begun designing new concept stations to replace it. One of the forerunners is Axiom Space, which has gotten permission to launch and attach new living and research quarters to the existing ISS in 2024, with the idea being that these will detach and become a new space station when the ISS gets decommissioned. China and India are also looking to launch their own renditions of the ISS, although these will likely only be about a quarter of the size, they will be symbols of pride for the two countries' space agencies and for all intents and purposes have paled in comparison to the United States, NASA, and Russia Roscosmos. However, while all of these private and public space stations will remain in Earth's lower orbit, NASA is planning to take things a step further via its ambitious Artemis project. That's because rather than have a space station orbiting the Earth, they plan to launch a space station that orbits the Moon by the year 2023, with the idea being that these will serve as a gateway for missions to the Moon. In any case, it seems that while projects like the ISS were made with international cooperation, the future of space development will likely be a very nationalist in nature and heavily involve the private sector, thus marking a massive shift in what we'll see being launched into space. Number 1. The Chengdu Tianfu International Airport while the city of Chengdu, China may not be all that familiar to those from the West, it is in fact a prime candidate for a new airport. That's because this city, which is located in central China, is easily one of the fastest growing in the country, as it facilitates a lot of the trade between China's agricultural firms and the rest of the world. As of now, the 18 million strong city of Chengdu is served by one single airport, known as the Chengdu Shuanglu International Airport, with this hub being responsible for the movement of about 55.9 million passengers in 2019, making it amongst the 25 busiest airports in the world and the fourth busiest in all of China. As a result, it should come as no surprise that Chengdu is in need of a new airport, and this is where Chengdu Tianfu comes into the picture. Located 51 kilometers southeast of Chengdu's city center, it's set to have six level 4F runways, two terminal buildings, and the capacity to facilitate 80 to 100 million people per year. The airport is set to be in the shape of a sunbird, which is a mythical creature that's a mascot of sorts for the city. It will cover an area of over 330,000 square meters, which is the equivalent to approximately 46 standard football fields, and the buildings themselves will likely have five floors above ground and two below. As you might expect, these floors will be filled with restaurants and shops for travelers to wait at, and in the future, the Chinese government hopes to connect various high-speed railway lines to the airport. Best of all, with Chengdu Tianfu being expected to open this year, and has already has some test flights land on its airstrips, we're confident that it won't be long until jet setters will be able to enjoy this $11 billion airport. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.